If you were raised in the United States, you likely played cowboys and Indians when you were young. You probably wanted to be a cowboy. As you grew up, you learned, if that's the right word, more about cowboys and Indians from popular culture. Cowboys were lean, flinty, and honest. Indians, well, they were savages, sometimes noble and sometimes not. We can see this image, which of course is almost entirely false, taking shape in this photo of Buffalo Bill Cody and Sitting Bull taken in 1885. The first thing to notice is that Cody is the director. He, not Sitting Bull, is the one doing the image making. This is not surprising, because not only had his people, the whites, utterly defeated Sitting Bull's Lakota Sioux, but Sitting Bull himself was Cody's employee at the time the picture was taken. After roughly 30 years of fighting whites in the Dakota territories, Sitting Bull had surrendered and been confined to a reservation. The only way he could get off, it seems, was to agree to play a dress-up Indian chief in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. Sitting Bull agreed to dress up, or rather be dressed up, by Cody's costume designers, but he doesn't seem to be very enthusiastic about his new job. That is an old, tired face. Cody seems to be talking to him, but he's clearly not paying any attention. He looks dazed, as if he just might fall over at any moment. In contrast, Cody looks lively indeed. His eyes flash. He knowingly points off into the distance, directing Sitting Bull to God knows where. His foot is forward as if he's about to take a step. And, most significantly, he steadies Sitting Bull's hand, which in turn holds a rifle. Cody portrays Sitting Bull as a toothless cigar store Indian, but he paints himself as a great white father. In truth, he wasn't very fatherly at all. He had killed his first Native American when he was 12 and killed countless more thereafter. He got his nickname by slaughtering buffaloes, a primary source of food for Indians of the Great Plains. He was instrumental in helping the army clear the upper Midwest of Native Americans in the Great Plains Wars. He'd done his work well. So well that the only remnant of his Wild West was a farcical Wild West show in which both he and Sitting Bull played fictionalized parts for people who had never seen the Wild West and never would. What followed this photo was predictable. An impoverished Sitting Bull was shot dead by federal authorities in 1890. A wealthy Buffalo Bill died of natural causes in 1917.